The Micromax Evo Dual Note looks promising with the MediaTek MT6750T chipset. The benchmark test looks quite good. So how does it perform in real life? Does this chip perform under load? Does it overheat? How does the MAL the T8060 will handle gaming? In this video, we are going to answer all these questions so that you can have an idea of the gaming performance. By the way guys, sorry for the delay of this video as I had exams. Anyway, hey what's up you guys, this is Freddy and let's get started. So let's start off with my favorite game Clash Royale, which is a great looking game, not too heavy. Here the Evo Dual Note had no issues, but that was expected, as other chips had no issues running this game. Moving on to something a lot more intensive, the brother in arms tree. There is no frame drops or lag till now. The phone does feel warm in hand for now, but let's keep pushing the evoke dual note more before checking the temperature at the end. Next up is Nova Legacy. This is a bit high in graphics but the Evoke Dual Note does perform it well, surprisingly. There was no frame drops or lag while playing this game.
Now coming to modern combat, still I haven't found any lag or frame drops which is impressive while playing this game. For the final game on list, I decided to go for Alpha 8. At this time the phone starts to heat a lot, but I haven't faced any frame drops or lag even while playing this heavy game which is awesome for a phone in this price segment. Well, after playing for 30 minutes of gaming, the temperature is around 40 degrees mark, which is kinda acceptable. So overall, the EVO Dual Note should not have any issue with the moderate intensive gaming titles. And in my perspective, this is a good phone for gaming. So that's it guys. If you like this video, do hit a thumbs up. And do hit that big subscribe button for more videos like this. So I'll see you all guys in my next video. Peace.